Hello, welcome to Solving Problems Using Patterns. This is Chapter 1, Lesson 6, and you're listening to MathCast with Mr. Burko. Our goal today is to identify and use patterns to solve problems. We're going to start pulling together all the information that we've learned over the last five lessons. This is one involving hikers on a trail, and we want to know where they're going to meet up in the middle. You're going to use a table of values, and you're going to identify patterns in that table of values. The question on page 24 asks, how long will it take until the two classes meet on the trail? The two classes are a grade of grade or a class of grade six students who are walking or hiking, and they can probably hike at about four kilometers an hour. The total distance of the trail is 30 kilometers an hour, and on the other side, leaving it at the same time, is another class of students, but they are riding their bikes. They go a little bit faster. They are riding at about six kilometers an hour. Now, it's important to realize that the walker's distance plus the rider's distance needs to equal 30 kilometers. Wherever these guys end up on the trail and wherever these guys end up where they meet up, that's going to be 30 kilometers if you add the distance that the walkers accomplished and the distance that the riders accomplished. So that's how we're going to know when to stop on our table of values. This table of values shows the distance traveled each hour and we have the time here so we're going to measure that in hours that's what the H stands for. The walkers are measured in kilometers, and that's the distance, of course. The riders are measured in kilometers, their distance, and the total distance is measured in kilometers. So if we add one hour on our clock, the walkers can walk four kilometers every hour. The riders can ride six kilometers every hour, and so the total is four plus six, in other words, ten kilometers. So the grade six class of walkers will be somewhere along here and suppose the bikers will be somewhere along here they haven't met up yet because they've only traveled 10 kilometers which means in total not for each of them but in total they have to travel about 20 more kilometers to get to the point where they will meet well it's your turn so I'd like you to uh, add a two to the time and tell me how long the walkers or how far the walkers will go how far the riders will go and go until you get to 30 and uh, so you're gonna need a pencil and a piece of paper and probably not a calculator but if you like a calculator you can sure go and get one go ahead stop the presentation and uh, let's see what you get Welcome back. I hope you paused the presentation and uh, let's check your answers. So in hour two, the walkers will have gone eight kilometers in total and the riders will have gone 12 kilometers in total because they go four kilometers every hour, so you add four. And these guys go six kilometers every hour, so you add six. And the total of eight and 12 is 20. In the third hour, the walkers have accomplished 12 kilometers, riders 18, and then the total is 30. Now, if we wanted to continue that pattern, we discovered, of course, that they meet in their third hour, but the fourth hour, they would overshoot that, so they're going to pass each other. Um, I'm assuming that they want to get to the end of the trail, not just meet up and then turn around. But uh, we don't need to do this fourth step. If you did, then good job for you we discover that in their third hour they meet up. So question A asks us, what number pattern did Robin use to create each column in her table of values? Well, the first pattern here is start at one and go up by one each time. The walkers start at four and go up by four each time. I want you to find the answer for the next two. Pause the presentation, get your pencil and paper out and go ahead. All right, that should have been easy for you. We did that earlier on. You hopefully discovered that these guys start at six and go up by six each time. And this is 10 and 20 and 30. So they're starting at 10, go up by 10 each time. Question B asks us if we can find another way to check the answer with a diagram. I'd like you to use a number line. I'm not gonna show you the answer in this podcast because I'm running out of time, but go ahead and use a number line. The bikers start or the walkers start here and the bikers start here. Thanks for joining me.